Hello, my name is Bing, and welcome to the behind the scenes of the YouTube Space Lab project. We challenged you to come up with experiments for space and submit your ideas to YouTube. From thousands of entries, a team of scientists whittled down a shortlist, and now we only have two global winners whose projects are going to be performed live on the International Space Station and streamed to the whole world. It's about to kick off here in the newly built Creator Space London, but before that happens, I'm going to be talking to some of the people involved and find out what's been going on. Since the early hours of yesterday morning and all through today, a team of technicians have been setting up this fantastic technological marvel. There are so many wires and batteries and power packs and fuse boxes and server stacks. I don't even know. I'm not going to touch anything. But to find out a little bit more about what's going on, I'm going to be talking to the studio manager here at the Creator Space who has been helping coordinate things for Space Lab. How have you found all of the exposure to deadly science rays? So how does it all work? Well, it starts aboard the International Space Station where audio and visual signals are sent down to Houston via the tracking station network across America. From there, it is combined into a single television signal to be bounced to an American satellite, and then across to a transatlantic satellite, and then down to our receiver dish atop the creator space. And then sound is sent from Space Lab HQ to Houston via good old fashioned telephone wire. And then it's sent back up to Sunita Williams on the International Space Station. And all of that happens in less than 0.6 of a second. Now to host this epic event, YouTube Space Lab have called upon the legendary Bill Nye. Could you explain to me what the two experiments that are happening today are going to be about? Uh, so the first one, let's take them in this order. People found that salmonella got even more disease causing, even more virulent when it was in zero gravity. So these two young women had the idea, maybe if we took one that is beneficial, it would make it even more beneficial, improve the quality of life for people everywhere. So that's the first experiment. And the other one is having to do with jumping spiders. So it could be that the information about how to control your muscles or your locomotion is stored in every cell. So if you have a spider that's making an adjustment from jumping in Earth's gravity to jumping in zero gravity, there might be clues in there as to all sorts of things about nerves and nervous systems. And now we're in the main studio, and just a day ago, this was an empty room, but not anymore. Look at this place. It's stacked to the ceiling with space. It is chock-a-block with space. It is a fully furnished space lab set, and we only have one last sleep before the show starts. Now, this is one of the most important rooms in the entire production. This is where the vision mixing happens for what you guys see at home. So it's especially important that I don't touch anything, even if I just press one little. Now the time is actually here today. We are going to be live streaming a signal from space to the world. Houston, it's uh, Bill in London. Can you hear us? Station two, we're ready for space. We are receiving a signal from space, and we are projecting it across the world. We're just honored to have been part of it, so thank you. It is finally over. It's all over and now we start dismantling. It was good, it was good. Oh. There's Sonny Williams jumping around in space doing flips. When the we other guy goes flying by and she just stays focused. Oh yeah, he's flying by. How did it feel on your end? It felt amazing. I, I don't think, I mean, I've done a lot of live shows and I don't think I've ever been quite so excited as that live link with, with Sonny. I had all these different things, all, all this other stuff, footage that they sent us over the last month of the experiments, which we were going to run in while she was talking about it. But we didn't need to do any of it because she just, she had the experiments there. She was showing us stuff. She was chucking them around. People were floating past. It was, it was really quite incredible. The online live stream went without a glitch and it was awesome and now it's done. How are you feeling? I feel elated. I feel very emotional. That was amazing. I feel emotional. I was only been involved the last three days. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, um, it's to think back two decades, me sitting in my, um, my GCSE physics classroom, uh, listening to my teacher, being inspired, uh, feeling that, and 
carrying this uh, desire for the last two decades to want to inspire the next generation. And just seeing that, it's, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. It's time to party. <laughs> And that was it, guys. Thanks for watching the behind the scenes. I have been Bing from Slow Mo Zovo, and this has been Space Lab. Hello there, and welcome to YouTube Space Lab Live. I'm Bill Nye, the science guy, broadcasting live from right here on Earth in the Google Creator Space in London to space lovers all over the globe.